Hey guys, Tyson here with General Rental Center, your master mechanic. Uh, I'm going to show you some stuff. We've had a request uh, on how to put on a quick shield for one of our Spartan mowers. Um, this one's going to be, I mean, you got your part numbers and stuff here. This one's going to be for the RT, SRT models. They do make the one for the RZ models, but uh, the one I'm going to be showing you today is going to be on your RT, SRT. So we're going to come around here. It's going to go on our SRT Pro 54 inch. Uh, it's with the Kohler Confidant motor on it. And the customer, we've got this one sold. The customer has requested a quick shield. So this was a perfect time to show you what we're going to do. Uh, it does replace your chute. So we will be taking this just completely off. Uh, and when we get all said and done, this quick shield is going to go here. It's going to be flat, so it kind of covers, cuts out some of your uh, clearances and stuff. Uh, it gives it a nice clean look. Makes it really nice when you're mowing to be able to adjust where you want your grass to go. So, first thing I'm going to do is take you over here to the computer and uh, show you some stuff on the Spartan website just real quick. Uh, if you don't know, SpartanMowers.com. Guys, if you'll go up here to your mower tab and drag down to mower accessories, any of you guys buying these accessories and stuff uh, here online, 90% of them have the instructions online. We're going to go here to our Spartan Quick Shield, and then Installation Instructions, uh, we're going to click here. Um, and it'll go through, so I'm just going to kind of go through this with you. There's really only a couple of differences you're going to run into, depending on what size deck you're putting it on. Um, this, is the, this is going to walk us through. So back over here to the Quick Shield, and uh, I'm going to open it up, show you what you can expect to get when you open the box. So you know what your piece is, and if everything's there, Spartan does a fantastic job getting it all packed in, so you've got all your nuts and bolts, it's really just a, an install. You're going to get a copy of the instructions also that I showed you online, that comes uh, with the, all your nuts and bolts and screws, brackets. Get a couple of handles. I'm sorry, the handle and then the extension. And then you're going to get the actual quick shield. Uh, nice, nice thing about the Spartans, quick shield's already put together. We're literally unbolting and bolting on. The only real differences are going to be right here, and I'll show you before we put it on. This one's going to be on a 54 inch. So our handle. And it's going to go here and our bump stop guys if you're doing a 48 the bump stop goes on the front we're doing a 54 our bump stop is going to go on the back side what this is uh, it's just a little stopper so when this door flips up it's not contacting the handle it's going to stop on the rubber bumper that's really your only differences between the two as far as the 48 and 54 now, if you're getting into a 61 or a 72, nice thing is you lose that bracket install, and our handle moves back, our bump stop goes here, cuts down a few nuts and bolts that you have to put on, but uh, other than that, pretty simple little install here, so uh, I'm going to go through it, get it done, and uh, get it put on. Again, remember guys, we're doing a 54 inch deck today, so uh, this goes, the handle goes on the front side of the shield and mounts here on the back. And one of the hardest things to do is to get the first one started. Once you get them, once you get them started, then the rest of them just kind of fall into place. So. There we go. We'll go back and get all these tight. We'll get everything put on. Okay, again, we're doing a, a 54 inch deck. 
So when we put this on, we want to make sure that this bracket is on the back side of your quick shield. This allows for uh, the clearance so that when the door does open up, uh, that it, it's not slapping metal on metal and it's, it's resting up against the rubber bumper. So you're not getting that vibration and that clang whenever you, you open it up. So. All right, guys, so we're all kind of finger tight here, so nothing's going to fall off. And we've got to put it on. We're going to put our bumper on. And then we'll come around here to the, to the mower side, and I'll take the... I'm going to go ahead and take the chute off and show you where all this mounts on. So come on back around here. Now you guys know it, but Spartans are made in the United States, so all your nuts and bolts and stuff are going to be uh, ASE. It's going to be a half inch on this. very well serviced the tops up here you're gonna see your carriage bolts so they're gonna hold themselves in place when you're putting on your your lock washers and stuff uh, these are nylon nuts that hold them on so once you get it on they they don't vibrate loose so we're gonna remove that shield and we're gonna come get our Quick shield, and if you look right here on the top, you know, there's multiple cutouts. Different. Uh, you're going to use the square ones. That's where your carriage bolts are going to go. And I'm going to get those started, hand tied again, and then I'll use the ratchet to get them tight to hold and then we'll open this door and you'll get the idea how these quick shields work and their functions so the nice thing about the quick shields you're gonna have three different you can have all the way closed you can have partially open for what's called the windrows and then you're gonna have fully open to do a full discharge so I'm gonna come in here and tighten up these these two bolts. Again, you're dealing with carriage bolts. All you got to do is just hold that down. Hold that in. Go to the Get a little bit more to make sure we're, we're not loose. Okay, guys, that's your quick shield install as far as this part goes. We'll put our handle on. Cool thing about this handle, you can see it's got a couple of different cutouts here. You've got a few different holes to hit, so it's going to be your preference on how high. Uh, and then you can adjust it left and right uh, on, on the length of your arms. Again, Spartan does a fantastic job with their kits. Uh, so far, every nut and bolt that I've dealt with has been a half inch. So uh, we're in good shape as far as not having to change a lot of tools and stuff and uh, spending a lot of time that way okay we've got our handle installed so pull that back we're going to close it now let's tighten up some of these bolts that we have hand tied Here to 
much tight than that. Again, so far everything's been a half inch. There's only one that's a different size, and that's going to be the one for this rubber bumper I'll show you. Uh, you'll need an Allen, and a, I believe it's a 7 16 so we'll get to it. And that'll get it tight to the rubber bumper. Alright, got all our half inches done. I believe we're dealing with the 7 16 That is correct. Works or a 20. It's going to be your T25. And it is a lock nut, so you're just trying to get it just to the point where you're starting to see a little bit of flex at the bottom of that bumper. Guys, if you try to overdo it, if you're like me, a little too strong sometimes. Uh, you're going to pull the nut all the way, the bolt all the way through. You don't want to do that. But all right, so we're installed, uh, completely done. I don't, I don't know if we timed it or anything, but uh, pretty quick install. Again, the two differences you're going to run into: 54 inch deck. Your bracket for your bumper goes on the back side of your shield. If you're dealing with a 48 inch deck, you're going to bring this bracket to the front and put it on. That just allows when this shield opens up, uh, it's going to hit here, it's going to hit this bumper and hold it. That's what that's for. So that's really your only difference. The 54 inch, the 48 inch, your handle goes up front. If you're dealing with a 61 inch deck or a 72 inch deck, this handle comes to the back and, and it completely eliminates that bracket. As you can see, the sleekness cuts your clearances way down. Uh, you can mow, you can mulch, you can, uh, you can do it like this. And then if you're ready to go and you want to discharge, lift it up. Now all your stuff's discharging out. Um, let you look in, see the different specs and stuff that are under the deck with the new wiper, wiper shield under here. Uh, you can see your blades and stuff. That's just kind of a neat, neat little setup. But... Uh, any other questions, you guys? I appreciate y'all asking. Uh, go to our YouTube channel, uh, subscribe to it, kind of give uh, watch us. Uh, go to our Facebook page. Anything we can do to show you to make it a little bit easier. Um, we'll have the num our phone number and stuff. Our emails are up. Feel free to call us, send us an email. I'll, I'll answer as many questions as I know, and if I don't, I know who to call and find out. So, again, thanks for coming to the shop today to to check us out. Uh, appreciate you guys. God bless. Have a good day.